the splat. The first thing to notice is there's a notch in each side, on the right and left. We're going to begin drawing by putting your pencil in that notch, we'll call a blip, and run right around the outside. We'll also draw a vertical line, called the centre splat, line up the point onto the end of that line, and draw a right and left splat line. Those are isometric lines, or at 30 degrees. Now we rotate the splat and carefully line up the corner to your drawing. Good. Now draw two more lines, and drawing a cube really is that easy. In real life, we see the top, right, and left sides or faces of this cube. In this isometric drawing, we see the same three sides. Rendering means using colour in a way that this flat drawing can appear to be a 3D object. A simple way to get started with rendering is to cover the whole drawing with a very light and even shade. Let's say the light is shining on top. The two surfaces further from the light will be slightly darker. We call them a value, value number two. Two you can think of as, I'm going over it twice, so it's going to be darker than one. These numbers represent the value of light or darkness. If I move the light to this position, one of them will be in shadow, or at least receive less light. So I'm taking that away, and I need to make it darker, so I'm going to make that value 3. You could think of it as 3 times over. It's about as dark as you can get with a pencil. You may have to press a little harder, but you don't really need to darken it all the way to the bottom. This next step requires a sharp pencil. I'm drawing what's called a cutting line, or a line that goes right around the outside of the drawing. It's also a good chance to tidy up any wayward lines that you may have. Helps the drawing stand out. Also, if you add um, a little bit of shadow underneath, helps the drawing sit well on the page. Cool, 